One more proof involving parity of integers and also modular congruences. So let's see what we have. We know that we've got a hypothesis that n is an odd positive integer. Okay. All right. We want to get to, we want, if we're going to do a direct proof, right? If we make this our assumption, and we want to get to n squared is congruent to 1 mod 8. Okay. Um, so let's just see, you know, what we have from our hypothesis. Just a sketch here, remember, we're trying to think through our proof, see what we have to work with. All right, so if, if k is an odd positive integer, then I know that, um, or excuse me, if n is a pot of odd positive integer, then I know that I can rewrite n in this way. <coughs> where n is 2 times some integer plus 1. Um, I know that k is an integer. If this is positive, then k must be greater than or equal to 0, right? It could be equal to 0. My first odd positive integer is 1, so that's where k will start out with. All right, now let's see here. Um, okay, let's see what we get when we take n squared, because we're trying to get to a conclusion about n squared, so let's see what that gets us. From this equivalence, I can see that I can make a conclusion about n squared mod 4. However, I'm trying to make a conclusion about n squared mod 8. So, what else do we know? Let's think. Um, you know, there is a way, and this would be the longer way to do it, but it is possible. Um, there's a way you can write out any integer as 8 times some integer plus the remainder, where your remainder has to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or seven, right? Just like any integer, this all this all this equi equation is saying you can take any integer. If you take any integer mod eight, you're gonna get zero to seven, right? Um, so we could we could approach it this way, and that will get us somewhere. But let's see. We do know something about k, right? We know that if k is an integer, then k is either even or odd. So maybe we can play with k in this representation to see if we get something with multiples of 8, right? Because 4 times 2 is 8, so it seems like we'd be maybe on the right track there. So let's see what that gets us. So let's just start out, maybe k is even. k is even, then k is equal to... 2 times L for some integer L, um, then I'll be able to rewrite n squared as 2 times 2L plus 1 squared. So I would get 4L plus 1 squared. So I'd have 16L squared plus 8L plus 1. Right, you need to know how to multiply out these binomials, okay. Um, and this will work, right? Because look, 16L squared is congruent to zero mod eight. Eight L is congruent to zero mod eight, and I get that one that I'm looking for. So that's good. So now we just have to hope that if K is odd, we get that it's congruent to one also. So let's see what happens when K is odd. So if k is odd, k is equal to 2l plus 1 for some integer l. And let's see. So we're trying to conclude something about n squared. We said n was 2 times k plus 1. And then we're saying, okay, k, let's take it as k being um, odd. 
and see what happens. Okay, so let's see, 4L plus 2 plus 1 squared, 4L plus 3 squared. Oh, this is nice, I think. 4L plus 3 times 4L plus 3 is equal to 16L squared plus 12L plus 12L plus 9. All right, yep, this will work. Plus 24L plus 9. Look, congruent to 0 mod 8, congruent to 0 mod 8. What's 9 mod 8? 1. Okay, so this is going to work. So we kind of got a two-step rewriting process, okay? We start by <coughs> rewriting out n. Then we consider that integer that we wrote out with n with and take both cases where k is even or odd. We've considered all cases, so we've proved this for any odd positive integer. So let's just write this out and we'll be done. Okay, we're starting our proof. Let n be a positive odd integer. Then n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. k can be either even or odd. Case 1, k is even. Suppose k is even. Then k is equal to 2 times l or some integer k, l, <laughs> okay. Also, n will be equal to 2 times 2l plus 1, which is equal to 4l plus 1. Notice, n squared is equal to 16l plus 8 L plus 1. Since n squared is congruent to 16L squared plus 8L plus 1 mod 4, 16L squared is congruent to 0. Ah, crap. Mod 8, right? We're dealing with mod 8. <clears throat> mod 8. And we have 8L is congruent to 0 mod 8. We have n squared is congruent to 1 mod 8. Case 2. K is odd. Suppose k is odd. Then k is equal to 2l plus 1 for some integer k. Uh, l. <laughs> so n is equal to 2 times 2l plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4l plus 3. Also, n squared is equal to 16l squared plus 24l plus 9. Because n squared is congruent to 16l squared plus 24l plus 9. 16l squared is congruent to 0 mod 8.
24L is congruent to 0 mod 8. And 9 is congruent to 1 mod 8. We have n squared congruent to 1 mod 8. Plus, for any positive odd integer, n, n squared is congruent to 1 mod 8.